What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes. Rise here with Pussy with Cost and Blood. And today I'm here to do a book review. And the name of the book is entitled Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked by Gene Elliott Thornton Jr., a.k.a. Malicious, a.k.a. Malice. From the clips. The rap group the clips. Now, I'm not gonna sit up here in front like I'm some big clips fan. I am not. Now, I've heard, you know what I'm saying, the singles, of course, grinding. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Me Too and stuff like that. You know, the uh life change off the last album. So I'm familiar with them, but as far as like whole albums being familiar with their catalog, I am not. So I'm not gonna sit up here in front like that. I did go back and listen to their last album, um, to the casket drop, just to really get a insight into Malice and how it connects to the book and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go into my thoughts on that, but anyway, tell you what I like about this book, what I don't like about this book. Now. Number one, what I do like about this book is that overall, this dude is very, very, very honest about his failures, about his shortcomings, and he says some things, to be honest, I would not be brave enough to say. I would not reveal that to the, the public world, because, you know, when you're famous like this, it, it will be all over media takeout and TMZs and all that type of stuff. I I wouldn't want to risk that. I'm just being honest. I might share it with some people, but I would not be as blunt as to reveal the things he's revealing in this book. And let me say this for for one, I am going to discuss the book. So obviously, if you don't want no spoilers, then don't watch this review. Watch this after you read the book. All right. But one thing in here, this brother. Revealed about itself? Ah, wow. Now, I won't say directly what it is, but let's just say the brother from Virginia, the brother, it sounds like he has a second house in Virginia. All right? If you get what I mean. And some of them symptoms, man, woo! It was making me queasy, man. I was just reading it and, you know what I'm saying, getting lightheaded and like, man, I don't want to read this. This is getting me crazy. But, uh, I respect this brother's honesty. Now, story, this book is not a clips book, per se, though the, the group is mentioned, and you know what I'm saying, him and his brother, Terrence, a.k.a. Pussy T. Alright? That's the sound he makes. I wasn't this him. Whatever, he, he does a sound like that. But anyway, his brother puts a T, his brother, yeah, puts a T, and he chronicles, first of all, starting out with someone he met that introduced him to Christ back in 95 until present time. And so you get glimpses of his mother, his grandmother, his father. Yes, the brother had a father, all right? A father that was acting his life and working, so it did not fit the stereotype of, oh, where's my daddy at? The brother knew where his daddy is at, all right? So, the brother had a father, I'm saying, comes from a hard, working class, middle family. And the brother was spoiled, you know what I'm saying? He had everything he wanted. He had the chinchilla, he had the meat coat. The brother was balling since he was five or six years old, all right? So, the brother wasn't growing up in poverty. But, the brother really got into the game. Stop slanging the rocks, all right? And of course, his mama wasn't having that, all right? She was too hard, too doggone hard to be dealing with this Negro out here slanging them rocks, all right? So, mama wasn't playing that. And so, Vincent, he got on the right path, got with the clips. His brother, you know what I'm saying, they formed a group. They ended up re up gang and all this type of thing. But, during this whole time, what was crazy to me is this brother, you know what I'm saying, he, you know what I'm saying, he was 
you consider yourself a Christian. And what I want to say is not I didn't like that about the book, but I'm just saying, as a Christian, it's just hard to understand how you could live that lifestyle that he was living. You know what I'm saying? And it took, I don't know, just a, a long time for God to convict him, it seemed like. And so it, it, it's sort of hard to understand. My relationship with God, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm just saying for me, I would not be able to do what he did. So I don't understand that. But hey, I don't know. <clears throat> but like I said, I enjoy this honesty. You get definitely a glimpse into his life. The man is a family man. He's concerned about his family. His family come first. He's experienced some trials and tribulations. And as the title say, he at the end realizes he's wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Because... All the things he thought were important, all the things he had, the money, the fame, the success, at the end that meant nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Christ Jesus, as he calls him. And so, I think he gives some good spiritual lessons from his experiences and from his, you know what I'm saying, from his experiences, he relates it to the Word of God, the Bible. And so I think his spiritual lessons that are in here are good. And so now some of the some of the people that you know what I'm saying God used him to draw to himself, I some of the preachers I don't really agree with on some of the things they teach. But nonetheless, God used those people to draw him to himself. So like I said, not it's not my not a problem, but it just really, for me, it's hard to understand how he can live this lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Know what the Word says, things of that sort, but still, you know what I'm saying? Even to this day, he's still with the clips. You know what I'm saying? He's still with his bro. And I know that's his bro, so you know what I'm saying? His family. But still, it's kind of hard to understand for me how he's able to reconcile the two, to be able to rap these raps. And I'm not saying he's the he what he used to be. Like I said, I heard his last album is definitely you know what I'm saying, it's not just all coke rap and all this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He he definitely the word is all throughout his raps. Same time though it's still the, the, the profanity and stuff like that. So it is kinda hard to for me to understand that. But like I said, the book itself, I think, is a good testimony. And this brother is very honest with his. And I give him props for that. Like I said, some things, like the help scares and some other things he reveals here, I would not be brave enough to do. So I give him props on that. So that's my thoughts on this book, man. I give it like a B plus. Go pick it up. Wretched, poor, blind, naked. He even autographed. Now, I know my books, my books be toe up, man. I be reading them and stuff like that. I'm not a very neat person. But he even autographed it, man. Say, God bless Gene. So, that's deep. Brother, autograph the book. So, props to Brother Gene. All right? Brother Gene. This is your boy, Brother Ross. Here with Proceed with Cost Blog and uh, Kobe Sutton. I'm out. Triples.